All right, today I'm going to address the one question that everybody has asked me if they've messaged me and uh, just basically um, wanted to know throughout this whole process on building this turbo kit. And not just the turbo kit, but also the uh, manual swap. That's mainly what this is about, it's a manual swap, sorry. And that is how to use the automatic ECU and basically tune it to be uh, similar to a manual ECU without actually having to change to a manual ECU. Now, the biggest thing and the biggest part about it um, is yes, you can run your auto ECU um, and with a manual. And I actually did it with a manual valve body in my automatic beforehand. The only thing is I got that flashing OD light and, you know, and, and other stuff, you know, and, and through check engine uh, codes and it made the car run a little wonky. So what you have to do is you actually have to go into the settings and turn the automatic transmission switches off. Now I'm going to go ahead and go through all of the steps on how to do it. But the number one thing is, is just stop right here if you do not have the SCT Pro Racer software because it is required for this as far as the way that I've done it. Now, first and foremost, go ahead and take the time now, um, pause the video, and make sure that uh, your handheld and your software is up to date because there are tons of updates that SCT do, um, especially to uh, be compliant with emissions and everything. So number one thing, make sure that's all up to date so that way that when you load your tunes into your handheld tuner, you won't get like a corruption file or anything like that. Now also, before you get started, you wanna make sure that you have your SCT dongle here. Um, every EC SCT package has uh, one of these um, assigned to it. So this right here is the major key to unlock the software, or you're gonna get a message like this. And you can see right there, you can't use the software without it. All right, once you open the software, you're gonna get your processor code, which mine is a CHH3 automatic ECU. Click on that, hit finish. Now, once the software's all opened up with your uh, code in there and everything, you're gonna go through here and you're gonna go to all of these different options, but we're gonna go look for certain particular ones and that's going to be system switches right here. And where we're going to start on the system switches is trans auto switch right here. Now what it says right here, see how the value is set to one. If you read right here, if the vehicle is an automatic transmission set to set to one to eliminate electric auto trans functions needs to be set to zero but there are, are two other switches that must be changed to eliminate the auto trans function and that is the trans load and trans type which is right here that right here will be it'll throw you a different value up there it doesn't really matter but you're going to take that and set that to zero as well and also you're going to set the trans type to zero. Now, just to reiterate on my other video, basically where I um, was able to get the speedometer correct as well, you're gonna go in here and you're going to find the actual ch -ch 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 number of holes in OSS sensor. Now this right here is going to change your speedometer. Uh, what it is, is when you have the automatic transmission in there, the number of holes is six, but when you put the manual in there, it actually jumps to 12. So your speedometer is gonna read double what your actual speed is because it's not um, changing everything up as far as how many times it hits the tone ring. Now it even shows you right here, normally a 4 or 70 has six holes, T5, T45 have 12. To make the speed right, this value needs to be changed. So what you'll do is you'll change that to 12 holes. Now what you'll do is you'll save all your settings in there, write your new um, tune in there, and that'll get you started. That'll be a basic, uh, just your start point. Um, this is just on the transmission part. Now you may have where you, like I did, where I turboed the car at the same time, done this, done that. And those are other changes you're gonna have to make in, in the actual software, but this will get you in the ballpark where you need to be. Now you will have to change like your dash pot settings and stuff for the idle air control uh, because you will get a hanging idle. And I personally am still tuning on that because I'm learning as I go. Um, so there, there is gonna be a little bit of a learning curve if you've never used this software before. 
Now, most companies uh, that will tune your ECU for you for a swap are just basically gonna tell you like, hey, just get an auto or a manual ECU. And that's fine, you can go that. That's the super easy route. If you don't have the software, then I absolutely would recommend doing that. Um, especially if you um, are staying in a or with a, a stock type tune, you're just doing a transmission change. But if you have this software, this is how I personally have done it. Um, and it's helped me a ton and I, I learn every day. So you can comment, like, subscribe, whatever. Um, but if you do have any other stuff that you recommend on there to even try, um, please don't forget to like and, and comment on there. You know, tell me what uh, you guys have also run into. Now, I certainly hope this helped you guys out. Um, like I said, this is just gonna get you in the ballpark. You're gonna have to, you know, tinker and toy and learn uh, as you go as well, like I have, unless you're, you're a pro, which, I mean, if you're watching this, you're not. You're like me, you're learning. With all that being said, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.